All right, perfect. Thank you, Sakshi, for uh, the nice introduction. It's always a pleasure to uh, make this presentation uh, at uh, OSA Industry Development Associates uh, events. And today, uh, on behalf of Basics, I would like to come back on our uh, recent evolution in terms of Wavefront AR and uh, MTF metrology solutions for challenging optics. And a bit of a spoiler here is uh, basically all those optics that you can see now here on the screen in new smartphone or uh, autonomous cars. So I am uh, Valentin Genuel and I'm the field application specialist at, uh, at Phasix. Uh, so uh, let me see. All right, so my presentation, a bit of an outline here. So I will come back on Phasix, a few words on the, on the company, a bit on the technology as well that we are using and pioneering since uh, more than 17 years now, and then really focus on these new solutions and applications that our engineers uh, at Phasix are working on. And still, we are always happy to discuss more in our networking room. So my colleague, Johan, is in the networking room of Phasix. So feel free to hop in and discuss with us afterwards or during my talk as well. So Phasix, uh, if I come back in the company, so our core competency is really wavefront measuring, which means all the wavefront distortions, the special phase distortions of light as the light go through an optical system. And what we make at Phasix is uh, wavefront sensors. So basically, from tiny cameras like these compact wavefront sensors with high resolution, and we then integrate them in fully automated machines for metrology of optical components. And uh, basically all of our instruments are based on our patented technology, which is called quadri-wave lateral sharing interferometry. And, and it's, it's a technology that provides a lot of advantages, and I will go further on this afterwards, but basically you have a very high resolution and high accuracy in terms of wavefront measurements while still having this compactness and uh, easy to integrate uh, feature. Um, and Phasix was created, uh, as I said, more than 17 years ago. So we are pioneering since 17 years, high resolution and truly high resolution wavefront measurements. Our R&D and production is done in France, in Paris, and I work for the US branch in uh, San Francisco, California. And to support us, we have a strong uh, network of distributors in Asia, uh, particularly that supports all of our clients that are uh, worldwide. Um, if I go back on the technology, just to give you an idea on the positioning of the technology, if you compare uh, our technology here in the middle, compared to a classical way to sense the wavefront, which is called the Shakatman wavefront sensor or here at the bottom, and a gold standard still today in metrology, which is the piezo interferometer. In terms of compactness, we provide a very compact wavefront sensor. It's a camera, it's easy to use and integrate in any type of setup. You can even integrate them on production lines. This is the, the main idea of having a wavefront sensor. Um, if, in terms of sampling, we provide a very high uh, sampling and very high resolution as well, like a very tiny phase measurement points. If you compare this to Shakat Man wavefront sensor, even if you can fake sometime high resolution measurement with pass processing here, we provide really true uh, measurement points. There is no pass processing to do the, the calculation. It's really true measurement points, but it's still a bit less than the classical FISO interferometer. So we have a trade off here. In terms of wavelength dependency, we are, I would say, the only one technology that is truly achromatic uh, by design of the system itself, which means that uh, if you have multiple systems that need to measure at different wavelengths, you do not need any recalibration. You just have to pick a wavelength that is compatible with the wavefront sensor that you have, but basically any type of wavelengths, either a broadband source or a narrowband source can work with our systems. And this is really a strength here. You can have a machine with like multiple wavelengths instead of have, having one fixed wavelength in a classical FISO interferometer, for example. Then uh, if I mentioned here the sensitivity, sensitivity to vibrations 
our systems are a self-referenced uh, interferometric system, which means that everything happens inside the camera. So they are less sensitive to vibrations and environmental conditions that you could have with the classical interferometers. And, and then the last thing is the dynamic range. We provide a really high dynamic range capability, which means that we can measure really high uh, and like wavefront distortions and amplitude and even measure optical systems and diverging beams directly in the diverging part of the beams, which means that we can measure uh, like optics, like F very fast optics, F1 optics, for example, directly just after focus. And this is the real strength uh, of our technology as well. And um, yeah, just the technology are is in the middle here. And if I come back, so uh, basically physics, what we provide, so we provide wavefront sensing metrology instruments from the UV up to the long wave infrared range and it comes in different types of solutions. So first we have the standalone wavefront sensors with the software suit and a software development kit. And basically you build yourself your own test bench and it's very modular, it's flexible. Then the next step is providing modular solutions where we would provide beam shaping elements, beam reducing system, beam expanding system sources, everything that you need to build yourself, your test bench. It's very flexible and I will come back on this solution here that we released uh, recently. Uh, this is really a modular solution, very versatile. And then we have the next step, which is basically a combination of either a fully, uh, I would say, integrated test station uh, off the shelf that you can purchase from our company that are production ready or R&D uh, ready for uh, intensive uh, testing, or also fully custom and turnkey solution that is tailored to your needs. So feel free to contact us and we'll be happy to work with our engineers to find the, the best solution for, for you. And um, if I come back in on a few words on the last OIDA technology showcase, uh, we we're talking uh, on our solutions for three different main application and just wanted to quickly come back on this as well. So I, I discussed about like free space optical communication systems, cartelization, basically the test of optical filters. So the transmitted wave from AR, the reflected wave from AR of windows at their working wavelengths. And this is a real strength of physics. It's providing the test of optical components at their actual design wavelengths. And this is really important. And this from the, the UV to the long wave infrared range as well, as I mentioned. And you can have the, the live element feature, which is really important having access to the live optical aberrations in live. It's pretty, uh, uh, needs to do the live element of a system, having access to all the aberrations and tune the system. Then, and I will uh, focus this afterwards, is really providing a high accuracy MTF and wavefront AR testing instruments for the automotive and smartphone industry, and basically providing testing of filters and windows, but also curved optics and really highly curved optics like windshields or headlamps, uh, cover lenses and windows, and providing precise measurement of the phase gradients, really important for the autonomous driving cars, as well as the integration with LiDAR system. And, and finally, the last application uh, um, we discussed before at the last uh, showcase is also all what we do for metasurfaces and waveguides, cartelization for AR and VR application, basically measuring the optical functions, providing a phase feature inspection, of the different meta optics and basically a refractive index distribution mapping. So now, if I focus on what I wanted to, to, to provide uh, as a presentation today is really focusing on those high chief ray angle optics that you can find in uh, newer smartphone or either uh, autonomous cars of today. And it's basically providing a metrology instrument that is able to answer those challenges because a key specifications of those optics today is really the chief ray angle. And um, basically, those optics are today challenging the current optics metrology instrument standard that you can have. And the classical MTF uh, machines and uh, wavefront AR machines that are available today are no more accurate and reliable for those uh, high CRA optics. And our engineers at Physics. Uh, they worked really hard to improve our already exist existing machine 
for MTF and wavefront metrology. They worked on the hardware and also a lot on the algorithms to be able to provide highly accurate and true measurement, working also on the trueness of the measurements for those optics. And basically, we released recently an upgrade of this Calio MTF machine, which is able to provide this kind of measurement. So the MTF and wavefront they are on and off axis at multiple wavelengths. Everything is integrated inside this machine. We have our uh, high resolution and high dynamic range wavefront sensor integrated in it. Uh, you have a dedicated software that is able to provide uh, the MTF at multiple wavelengths at different angles in the field. Uh, also all the wavefront aberrations and also all the geometric and radiometric lens parameters such as the image height, uh, transmission, the distortions and everything else like a classical MTF machine. But really uh, the, the key things here is that we are able to provide highly accurate uh, like specifications on optics having uh, CRA, so chief angles up to 37 degrees. And this is really important here for all those optics and challenging optics. So feel free to contact us or hop in our networking to, to discuss a bit more the applications and what we can provide for this type of application. And then the second thing I wanted to focus on today is what we released in terms of modular metrology solutions. So basically, uh, we wanted to provide a solution that was a bridge uh, and that would bridge the gap between a standalone wavefront sensor and a fully integrated machine. We wanted to provide the flexibility and the versatility uh, in terms of solutions to our clients. This is why we released this uh, modular metrology kit. And basically, it's made of different components certified by Phasix. So basically, we would provide the wavefront sensor for the spectral range you want and all the beam shaping elements. So here it's an example of a huge uh, beam uh, reducing or expanding system uh, uh, over a 90 millimeters pupil working in the short wave infrared range. And basically the idea of this kit is providing different elements that you can easily assemble or disassemble and have still have this flexibility of using all the components separately. But when you build them and you assemble them together, you, you end up having a really high accurate and highly performing uh, metrology systems like a, a piezo interferometer, but more modular and that you can easily put in a, in a laboratory or an R&D uh, department. And basically this solution is just three easy steps. Uh, you choose, you pick the wavefront sensor that you need for your spectral range. Then you select the R cube. The R cube is basically an illumination source that allows you to build a uh, double bus optics testing, uh, test bench, for example. And then you pick your uh, beam shaping element. Either it is a beam expanding or beam reducing system, or is it a focusing system to generate the right point source for your system if you need to align a telescope, for example. And then when you assemble all those different pieces that are really smart to assemble, it's really smart interfaces, it's really easy. And you end up having a system that is very versatile because you can adapt it to a lot of different applications. So this one, for example, is the alignment and cartelization of a nafocal system in double pass. You have the source here, the wavefront sensor here. You measure it in double pass. You can tune and tweak the system. Here, if you place the right uh, uh, transmission sphere, you can generate the right numerical aperture to measure a concave uh, surface. Uh, you can also use a beam expander to measure, to measure uh, large optics, large filters, large windows or windshields. And you can also build this to make measurements off axis, of course. And this is really the, the strength of this, of this solution here. So all of these solutions, uh, if I can bank on all of the application, you can apply this to a lot of different uh, markets. And we're always happy to work, uh, especially with very challenging optics that you can find in, smart, in smartphones or even uh, for space or defense application, this is really something that we found very useful for this type of markets. Also the autonomous driving car industry with all those LIDAR system integration and even the AR and VR uh, application with very challenging optics, meta optics that we need uh, a high accurate metrology tool. So thank you for, for your attention and feel free to hop in our networking room. Uh, we'll be happy to discuss uh, more with you.